Dodgers four, Yankees nothing to the bottom of the ninth inning. Dodgers three outs away from a 3-0 series lead. And this has been a rough couple of days for New York sports fans. You got the Jets lost yesterday to fall to two and six. The Giants lose tonight to fall to two and five. The Yankees on the verge of falling behind three games to none in this World Series. The big blow once again came from that man who had the Iconic swing in game one with the walk off grand slam. He starts game three with a two run shot. Again, just remarkable because two and a half weeks ago, not sure if he was going to play, what you could get. He had to sit a couple games, but the delay and the rest certainly put him in a best position for his ankle to be successful. Michael Kopak's going to try to wrap this thing up. Six, seven, and eight for the Yankees. Anthony Volpe a lead off, one for three. His one hit was back in the fourth. It looked like it was going to drive in their first run, but Stan got thrown out at home. Teoscar's throw saving at least one run. Of course, the Yankees would have kept on hitting right there had he not gotten him at the plate. All right. On a strike. I just wonder how much this, if they go on to win, this changes the complete strategy of usage of pitchers for tomorrow for Dave Roberts, meaning they've used a couple guys tonight that typically would use tomorrow. And is it house money and you use guys in different ways because you got four games to win one. Uh, I'd be interested to see how it works out for Dave Roberts tomorrow. One two to Volpe cut on and miss one gone in the ninth. So you've got Kasparius and Knack Honeywell who could all give you length down there. Rizzo. Eleven K's for the Yankees tonight. And the Dodgers two outs away from their first World Series shutout since Or Hershiser game two 1988. Last time they shut out the Yankees in the World Series. You're here at Yankee or in the Bronx at least old Yankee Stadium game seven in 1955 Johnny Padres as the Dodgers finished off their first world championship and their only one in Brooklyn. It's the game saved by Sandy Amaros running down a Yogi Berra shot to the corner with one of the biggest defensive plays in this series long history. Right. And they're three and one. Oh no. Okay. Rizzo's aboard for the second time as he takes the walk. Last time the Yankees were shut out in the World Series, the clinching game we mentioned 2003. Marlins after shocking the Cubs. The end of the World Series beat the Yankees in six. Josh Beckett, complete game to finish it off here. The old ballpark. Right behind you. So here's Wells. Pinch hit a couple innings ago, took strike three. I tell you what, in this big, in this stadium, when you throw it up. A zero for nine innings, you're doing something because this is a hitter's park, and that means you are executing. Josh Beckett did it back then. Oh no. And the Dodgers are doing it right now. This would be their fifth shutout this postseason if they could lock this down. That would be tied for the most in a single postseason in Major League history. Of course, more games than ever in the postseason these days. Cleveland in 2016. They fell just short to the Cubs at five shutouts in that run. Got the rally caps on, hoping for something historic. Largest ninth inning deficit overcome to win a game in World Series history? Two. That's happened in 2015 when the Royals. The race two to nothing deficit against Matt Harvey and then scored a bunch in the 12th to clinch.
came into the night saying the offense had to figure it out and figured that it wouldn't be shocking at all if they did. They feel due. This feels like a sleeping giant, but it's continued. Another one, two to Wells. Almost hit him. Rizzo takes second. Trinan. Not going to mess around, Dave Roberts. You got for Dugo on deck, then it's the top of the order. Two and two on Austin Wells. Kopech delivers. High pop fly. Freeman, does he have enough room? He does. Dodgers and out away from a game three shutout. The Yankees an out away from facing a 3 0 deficit. Never as a team in World Series history even forced a game six when falling back 3 0. Of course, in seven game histories, seven game series across any series, only what? once has a team come back to win it. Of course, the Yankees on the wrong side of that. Dave Roberts and the Red Sox 20 years ago. Verdugo drew a walk his last time. Swings and misses. 0 and 2. <laughs> Bites it off foul. Stays alive. Twice all series, just to show you. Only twice all series they've gotten two hits in a row. Hmm. And it happened last time in the ninth inning last game where they put that rally together. High fly ball to deep right field. Betts goes back at the trick at the wall and gone. Alex Verdugo. With the Yankees down to their last out, connects on a two run home run. First home run of the postseason for the Yankee left fielder. And now they've got the top of the order coming up. Torres will be the hitter. And if he can reach, Soto would come up as the tying run. Don't forget all that shutout stuff we're talking about. A 4 2 game. He didn't miss it. And you're right. All that shutout goes right out the window. But the, the Yankees. You don't like losing. You don't like being down 3 0. You certainly don't like getting shut out. But now a little bit of drama. They cut it in half. Problem is, there's two outs. Still on their last breath. Glaber Torres unable to get Soto to the plate back in the seventh when he took strike three on a pitch that appeared to be high. Right. Strike one. Takes strike two, and the Yankees down to their last strike. Oh, no. Watches it spin away. Two balls and two strikes. Stirring up one last dose of hope. 2 2 to Torres. Bouncing ball towards the middle. Edmund with a spin and a throw. And the Dodgers dominate game three. 
They're a win away from a world championship. A 3-0 series lead over the Yankees. Starting pitching. Go back to it. Advantage Yankees. Before the series started. Starting pitching after three games. Advantage the Dodgers. Walker Buehler picks up where Yamamoto left off. Six and a third for Yamamoto in game two. Five scoreless innings for Walker Buehler in game three. Whose big game mastery continues. Now three World Series games in Walker Buehler's career. 18 innings, one run. Defense. Almost flawless for the Dodgers in this series. For the Yankees, it's a complete opposite story. Defense has given the Dodgers too many extra chances. Defense in tonight walks and hit by pitches that set the table. And as you said, it's just too good an opponent to give them those extra outs and yeah. give them those extra base runners. Yeah, you, you cannot give free passes. You cannot give situations that the other team didn't earn to great teams. Let's go down to Ken Rosenthal. Thanks, Joe. Freddie, your first inning homer gave the Dodgers an immediate 2 0 lead. How much did you guys talk before the game about the importance of striking quickly, putting the Yankees on their heels, taking the crowd out of it? I, I think it was more the talk was trying to talk about Clark Schmidt. A lot of us have not faced him, so we were just trying a lot of emphasis on game planning and stuff like that. And obviously, when you come into a road park, you want to try and strike early and quiet the crowd down. And we were able to do that in the first inning. You have home runs in each of the three World Series yeah. games. You didn't have an extra base hit in the first two <laughs> yeah. rounds. Is it that your ankle is feeling that much better, or have you simply learned to deal with it? No, my ankle is, is, is that much better, and that's because the, the days off, I was able to calm it down, get some treatment, and then I was able to work on my swing. That's the key. So um, just been able to find my cue, and you know, I've been seeing the ball pretty good. Now, the other thing, home runs in five straight World Series games. You tied George Springer. That's a record. So. As you go into tomorrow, yeah. granted, you need one more win. Yeah. But how much does that accomplishment mean to you just knowing that you've done that? Uh, I mean, I guess when it's all said and done, I can look at that. But the most important thing is what you said one more win. That's all I care about right now. I don't care if I, how it happens. I just want to get one more win. Finally, Walker Bueller. Oh, what did you think, Fred? Yeah, Walker Bueller, he's been doing this his whole career. Big games, big moments, steps up when you need them. Five strong, strong innings, and then our bullpen came and did a great job. I mean, this is what you got to do. You got to pitch in October, and we've been doing that.